Have you ever noticed that sometimes things happen when you least expect it? We've all had moments when despite our best effort, things just don't go the way we want. The adversity can appear in many different forms. Maybe somebody or someone convinces you to move in a different direction than what you initially planned. Maybe you got handed a, a task on top of an already growing list of things to do. Maybe it's a change of events. Maybe it's a lightning bolt that just kind of comes down and hits your radar that you completely di didn't expect. How we respond to adversity is far more important than the adversity itself. When adversity strikes, the last thing I want you or maybe somebody on your team is to get a case of what I call excusitis. See, when the winds change, we must change. Today, I wanna to help you help your team prepare for the unexpected. And I wanna offer you three suggestions on how to effectively lead your team through changing conditions. But before I do that, I wanna invite you or maybe someone on your team to join our next Move the Needle Challenge, where I'll help you or them, you know, just unlock the log jam that typically stands in the way of making progress, right? Why? So you can, in fact, move the needle forward on something important. If this is of interest, follow the link in the description. When you're trying to do something of value, it's inevitable that sooner or later, you're gonna come face to face with adversity. Here's the truth. We all face challenges. We all face problems. Regardless of the best laid plans, conditions change. All too often when this happens, people get mad. Almost as if business and life is supposed to be problem free. I want, to write, I want you to write this down. A problem by itself is not the problem. The problem is how we look at the problem. I, like many of you, have witnessed people complain about changing conditions. They bitch, they moan about the unexpected, right? Others sit on the sideline waiting and hoping that things are gonna get better, almost as if they are gonna like magically take care of themselves. And I've also been privileged to work with those who embrace change. Those, those are the individuals who step forward, not back, when challenges emerge. They, like many of you, see change as an opportunity to help. They have a like kind of like a put me in the game kind of coach mentality. And I'll be honest with you, those are the people that I love to hang out with. The truth of the matter though, is the latter isn't always easy for everyone. As a leader, we have to recognize that change is hard for a lot of people. All too often, the very first thing that most people do when adversity strikes is they focus on the negatives. I believe everything happens for a reason. I just believe that personally, right? The challenges that grace our path are here to make us stronger. And once again, this is one of those kind of things where I always talk about the intellectually we get, but it's a lot harder to implement in the moment. I know this all too well, right? I also know that when I remind myself of this truth, when I stop for a second and just recognize that maybe the situation in front of me is in fact really here to make me better, that thought alone helps to like snap me out of like whatever self-pity moment I'm, I'm currently having. I'm sharing this with you because I want you to never lose sight of this truth either. See, intellectually, we all know we need to redirect our energy when we're engulfed in a problem. But like, let's be honest, man, that's, that's just not always easy to do. As humans, our minds like to wander towards the negative. Our ego loves to magnify a problem. It's like instead of searching for ways to resolve the situation and then even grow from it. We as leaders, as growth champions, right? We have, we have the power of choice when you think about it, right? We can choose to respond or react to complicated situations. That choice is ours, consciously or unconsciously, we're all giving everything meaning, but we have the power to attach the meaning that is most helpful. If you focus only on the problem, guess what? The problem has a way of multiplying itself. If you instead redirect your energy towards finding a solution, you're eventually gonna discover something that you can experiment with. And every time you consciously and courageously try something new, that experience alone provides you insight as to what works and what doesn't. And that's valuable. That's, that valuable insight is going to allow you to make adjustments, you know, that are going to like ultimately lead you one step closer to what you're trying to achieve. And here's the cool part that I found working with lots of different people. Oftentimes the adjustments we need to make are only a small little change of what we're currently doing. So if you or maybe someone in your team is experiencing some adversity, if something is not going 
as planned. Here's what I want you to do. First, breathe. I mean, take a minute to step back and try to look at the situation from an outsider's perspective. As opposed to getting mad that it's happening, challenge yourself to see the good in it. What are you being asked to learn? It's like a difficult puzzle piece you can't find. Sometimes you have to really work at finding the good, right? But trust me, it's there. Also trust that, that you're good at what you do. Remind yourself that you're really good at overcoming obstacles. That's why you're a leader. Leaders are good problem solvers. While the solution may not be visible yet, trust that one of your superpowers is knowing how to approach a problem. One of the biggest challenges I see amongst many leaders, especially those who are trying to move the, the, the big rock forward, right, is this overwhelming desire to, to make the process problem free. Make no mistake. Business success doesn't come from a lack of problems. The achievement of any goal, especially if it's really important, is going to be dependent upon how well you, the leader, manage through adversity. See, there's a tendency for the negative side of any situation to infiltrate our daily thoughts. There's a tendency for courage to give way to fear and for confidence to be overwhelmed by worry. Before you know it, if you're not careful, like these negative tendencies are going to take you off course. But here's the good news. You can adjust. You as a leader set the example for your team. You have a responsibility to ignite change by implementing small little adjustments to daily routines that are gonna help you and your team just chip away at the results you desire. I would say when the winds change, we must change. Yeah, it may take a little time to get to where you want, but trust that you're gonna get there. Every small and seemingly insignificant adjustment you implement it's going to compound itself over time if you stick with it, but you got to stick with it. I encourage you to think about like just where you are right now at this very moment. What small course adjustments can you make right now this week, right? Let your team see you navigate through adversity. See, this is an opportunity when adversity strikes is for you to roll miles away, right? This is an opportunity for you to step forward. If you want more strategy and tactics like this that I shared today, I encourage you or maybe someone in your team to register for our next Move the Needle Challenge. Together, we'll unlock the log jam, right, on other challenges that you or they face so you can, in fact, move the needle forward on something important to your business. It doesn't matter where you are. Let's be honest, it doesn't matter what you've done, it doesn't matter what you failed to do. I always say that today, like every day is a new beginning. You have an opportunity, starting today, to make a renewed commitment to help your team to adapt to whatever changes emerge and regardless of the change, to keep everyone moving the needle forward on your business. If that's of interest to you, the link is in the description. Okay, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, right? Share it with somebody in your team. Comment below and of course subscribe because each week I'm sharing content to help you embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Talk to you soon.